Yo, just real quick at the beginning of the video before I start this, I just want to say one of my next videos is going to be me playing Phantom Forces in VR. It's going to be a crazy video. So if you're not subscribed, get subscribed because you're not going to want to miss it. And if you're already subscribed, then uh, make sure you have notifications on. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. I made some super curse loadouts in Phantom Forces. I can't land a single shot on him. And I don't quite know how to feel about them yet, but they're uh, interesting. Bro, what, what is this game? Am I? I've done things like turning shotguns into snipers, snipers into pistols, and just about everything in between. Some are gross, some are more gross, but all are gonna make for a wild time. So join me on this adventure, we'll have a few laughs, and let's get into this. Yeah, I don't quite know how to express my level of uh, rage whenever I actually put this together. Why is this like whole server using like Saiga 12 and Spaz 12? So what is happening? Don't know where you came from, but hello. Bro did not have his headphones on. This thing is gross, by the way. I, just, I want you to know just how gross it feels to have something like this equipped. <laughs> like a 3D movie, bruh. I have my 3D glasses on. Bro just flew into my face. Hey, not bad, not bad. I feel like this really isn't as bad. That's a grenade. Thank you, Draco X55. I feel like this really isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Wow, that was a bad miss. Bro predicted my shot. Didn't predict that one. You know, it's been like months since they've done like the whole ragdoll silly update thing. And, uh, you know, honestly, I've just never gotten over it. It's still amazing. Hi, I'm going to go this way now. <laughs> Funny little corpse. Ooh, now he really did. You know, honestly, this isn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's just a little bit cursed. It's kind of growing on me too. I, I, it really shouldn't be though. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum, we have this. It's kind of gross, but uh, is it bad though? Can, can it really be that bad? Can I, can I maybe actually use this thing? Maybe. Here, I have a 40 times on this, so I'm gonna have to stand back a little bit. Here, I'll even climb the ladder up here, the rope thingy. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> the 10 times isn't so bad, but... Okay, I don't know how long they were standing there for, but okay. It's funny because I'm gonna need someone to come out of, like, this exact little space here. Okay, okay. I have a method now. There we go. There we go. That was pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> Why did they add this? Oh my god, no, I didn't mean to slide. I know that it's 40 times, so I shouldn't be surprised that I can't see anything on this map. But I'm still surprised that I can't see anything on this map. I think the only way I'm gonna really be able to get any kills is quickscoping, to be honest. Oh, oh, oh! oh bro, how is that a hit marker? I swear to god, dude, intervention with the CQB barrel is so inaccurate, it's not even funny. I have this clip from earlier where, like, I'm aiming at this dude's head, I didn't get the headshot, but then I shoot him again in the head, and then I get the headshot. It just makes no sense. But really, does anything about this make sense? I, I didn't think so. One of my favorite guns, for probably all of the wrong reasons, is this monstrosity. I built it into quite the little ankle biter, and much like a chihuahua, it hurts really bad, and uh, it's too fast to be stopped. Now, you might be asking yourself, why, and how, and who? and what and where. Stay in school so you learn what those are. But I don't, I don't know either. I just, <laughs> there's, there's no reason for this. There is no reason for this thing to exist. It doesn't need to. Nobody asked for it. I didn't even ask for it. And yet, here we are. I, I, I don't know either. I don't know either. Just don't ask. Oh no, I pressed free cam. I've done it. How do I get out of free cam? Somebody please tell me. I genuinely, I don't know. Whatever you do, do not click that button right there. Oh, wait, it says right there. Exit using B button. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Stylus. And of course, what's a monstrosity of a really tiny LMG without an SMG counterpart in the PPSH Obrez? Front sight not included. I don't quite know why they allowed this to exist. Uh, I don't, again, know who asked for this. But hey, while we got it, I'm gonna enjoy it. Bang, bang. I love you, tiny PPSH. It's actually kind of accurate. I, I'm really surprised by the recoil on this thing. Get out of there. Thank you. Even walking, it's a little bit accurate. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not much damage, but you know, it, <laughs> I hate this thing. I genuinely hate this thing. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, he got he got stuck. <laughs> He's coming down. It's okay. He'll land on his buddy. If you ever played Modern Warfare 2, you'll know that the PP2000 was kind of sick. And in Phantom Forces, it exists. I wouldn't say that it's epic, but there's also a scaled up one called the OTS-126. It's gross. Its recoil is gross, but I can fix those. Is, isn't it just beautiful? Aren't you just so happy that I did this? See, the cool thing is I got that little yellow dot and it points out where the little guy is. And I can just run out of ammo <laughs> and then get an assist. Yay. 
Girl, what is, what is this game? I can't do that. What is this game? You know what? Maybe I'll just try and snipe with it. How about that? Is that going to make you happy? I don't think it's going to make me very happy. Okay. Recoil is very low. A lot lower than I expected it to be. Oh no, they're spawning inside of each other. I'm too fast. You know, typically I think that slow fire rates are pretty cool, but this is just kind of in that weird realm of just average and I just don't like it. I either like like super fast firing weapons or super slow firing weapons. I don't like them basic guns. <laughs> it actually has like surprisingly decent full auto range potential. I just punched my desk by accident. Nice. The G3 in Phantom Forces has quite the bark and quite the bite. It sounds powerful, is powerful, and yeah, we're putting a little tiny magazine into it instead. I also have a scope on it for no particular reason. I just think that a scope would be kind of funny. But yeah, there's a little tiny magazine which you can just barely see inside of this thing. How high do I have to aim? Dude, I have to aim all the way up here to shoot into that window. Oh, this is awesome. This is just great. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going in that window. Oh my god. I don't know how either of us were that bad. Yeah, um, recoil is not great. Maybe the scope isn't really going to be helping us here. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Okay, well, clearly this is meant to be used up close with that crazy high close-up damage. So let's let's just put on a normal little sight. And if I can ever figure out where they're spawning, I'm going to go right behind them. Apparently they're spawning behind me. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. So they're up below me now. I'm very scared. I'm very scared. I'm frightened. They're coming in. You know, whenever you take the scope off this, it's kind of cool. This thing's kind of sick, actually. <laughs> now, really, if we put most anything on the STG-44, it's kind of cursed because this is how it's meant to look. And this is what I did to it. I know, I know, I've, I've done quite a number. I'm very upset with myself, but it must be done. Recoil's not that bad. Recoil, why is recoil not that bad? Why is recoil kind of not that bad? I get like an absolute crap ton of ammo with it too. Actually, we, we might be onto something pretty interesting here. Boom, got him, got him. <laughs> the meteor streaking across the sky. Make a wish, everybody. And of course, it wouldn't be a cursed set of video without something I really never use or talk about. Uh, the micro Uzi with a scope and a shotgun conversion. Now, normally the micro Uzi is just okay, I guess. It's like it exists in a place and time. But right now we have, uh, I think, what is it? Like three pellets per shot. Yeah. So we got a little shotgun action going. We got a little bit of, we got a little bit of scope action going on here too. And we're on a long range map and I'm dead. Great. I put one of those little like cinnamon brooms in my room and I took the bag off of it and it's, it's hanging from my fan and it, uh, <coughs> it's starting to get to me. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. Ooh, one shot did a total of zero damage. That's awesome. Maybe we should switch to a smaller map. Oh, should we? I, I think I'm just going to do it. I can't land a single shot on him. There we go. Oh my god, those were all over his head. Bro is peppered. I hear, I hear feet, I hear feet. Oh, it's my teammate. Oh, hi! I don't know where you came from. You know, whenever you don't scope in, this thing's actually kind of interesting. But whenever you do... Well, yes, phone, I know. I know, you want to be very loud. Dude, you can't even see out of the scope. Where bacon at? I don't know, I'd like to know too. It's, it's just not possible. It's it literally bro just stood there executing me while I was shooting him with a nerf gun. I think this is technically, if I'm not mistaken, the lowest damage dealing gun in the entire game. Like it, it does eight damage per pellet at range and like 17 maximum per pellet. Ooh, get juked, bro. I heard them feetsies. No, oh, let me go. Let me go. Psych. Psych. <laughs> this thing's actually kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of cursed stuff in Phantom Forces. There's a lot of gross ways that you can make your weapons. And some of them are surprisingly a little bit more useful than others. I don't quite know what more to say besides, uh, you know, if you want to tell me what cursed stuff that you use, then I guess let me know. I, <gasps> I spawned on him. Thanks for watching. I, I appreciate it. And uh, subscribe if you're new. Big thanks to all the channel members as per usual, which you can become one too with the link in the description below. And if you don't want to be a monthly channel member, you could also do a one-time donation with the little, little, little icon by the comments somewhere. A super chat is basically just like a one-time donation thing if you want to help support the channel. That'd be freaking sick. If not though, enjoy your day and uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Heard a footstep?